Hey guys, Brandon here, and I recently bought this dome on Amazon, and I figured I would just do a quick review on it, uh, because I didn't really see any formal video reviews on this. The written reviews on Amazon were pretty well, and so I went for it, and so overall, just know, uh, long story short, I really like this product, but in case you don't know about this, uh, this is called, on here it says uh, Telesyn, but on Amazon where I bought this, by the way, link in the comment section and in the description to buy this. This is called the Yomli or Yomli 6 inch dome port for the GoPro Hero 5. Um, and so, pretty much what this is, if you made it this far in the video and you still don't know what the heck this uh, glass looking thing is, um, this is a dome that you could put your GoPro in. This is so far the only one I've seen on Amazon made for the Hero 5. You put your Hero 5 on there, and obviously the Hero 5 is waterproof without uh, a housing. But what this allows you to do is get really, really cool split shots. So I can see on the box, these split shots between over, under, uh, underwater, and then over the water as well uh, in one picture. Now, if you try to do that without the dome, it's going to be pretty much 50% or if not more of the image. It's just going to be this big blurred line, and it's not going to look so good. And it's going to be all kind of... Uh, you know, disoriented, a bigger head than a body or whatever. Now with the dome port, it's almost like looking at that picture through a uh, a aquarium or something like that. It's a very fine line, very clean image. So you could see the uh, over under and it's as if it's one picture because it is without it looking all disoriented. So that's what this dome is. And so this is the only one I've seen uh, for the Hero 5 so far. So pretty much nothing too crazy about it. Uh, I think they sell different versions or iterations of it, especially for the Hero 4. Um, would that have like electronically controlled something you could like control different menus. This one's like super super simple um, You pretty much just pop this out like you would the normal housing for a hero 4 or whatever the hero 5 goes right on in there And if you know GoPros you're very familiar with that kind of setting And then you have two buttons on the side power it on and then modes and then on the top to take the picture the shutter is uh, right there and as you can see it's centered right in there and uh Pretty much so far I've tested it a couple times in my pool and then uh, took it on vacation recently in the ocean. Um, and so far no water leaks, very, very good, both in here and there. Uh, and even if water did get inside there, like I said, GoPro Hero 5, it's uh, waterproof without a housing. So that's really helpful and good to know. Um, but anyway, what it included was the dome and then this handle, a cleaning cloth, uh, this little thing. Um, what else? I believe that's it. If I'm missing something, I'll be on the box here, let me see. Oh yeah, one more thing, it included a little wrench uh, that I didn't really find any use for, but it's a wrench to kind of torque this screw down. Really, I, I prefer a screwdriver, but you could just hand tighten it and that's fine. So you can loosen this and then kind of tilt uh, it. I like it vertical like this. Anyway, it kind of gives you this little guidance line right here. So you want the water to be perfectly half and half right there. Um, or, you know, you guys can get a little bit of practice with it and just kind of know what you guys like. So with practice, I can tell you a couple tips. One, smoother water is very helpful. If it's kind of rocky, it you know distorts it a little bit. Not so much the picture, but just it's it's kind of you know dizzying to see what's going on. So glass water, super still water, that's obviously recommended. But if you can't control your your uh, surroundings, then obviously uh, you can just do your best. Uh, pointing away from the sun, that's always just photography in general. I did take a couple pictures pointing towards the sun, and it looked fine. It could pop out the sh uh, shadows a little bit, but uh, any kind of hairline scratches in the glass really comes out when you're pointing towards the sun, so keep it away from the sun, and that's very helpful. Another tip as far as the Hero 5 itself, shoot in RAW. I would definitely recommend shooting in RAW. Or there's an option. It's probably you're probably shooting in JPEG if you haven't got JPEG if you haven't gone to the manual settings. Uh, go to the manual settings and do JPEG and RAW. There's no way I can do just RAW uh, from what I've seen, unfortunately. But yeah, edit your pictures. Uh, I use Lightroom, but make sure it's a RAW file. You can really pop out the shadows because pretty much the water is in most times the shadow. So you can pop it out and make the lighting above and below water look pretty even. So the pictures I'm showing you as an example throughout this review are all uh, edited in Lightroom. So yeah, the raw file helps a ton. Other than that, um, not too sure on tips. Uh, you guys can try burst mode just to get as many pictures in one solid thing because otherwise you have to wait a couple seconds for a picture. So try burst, just kind of fiddle around with it. But I remember I took like my first time out with this thing, I took 80 pictures and two of them were worth editing. My second time out, that, that ratio got quite a bit better. So anyway, take a little bit of practice. It is a different kind of thing, that split shot, but you know, take 100 pictures and if one of two of them are cool, uh, they're actually very, very unique uh, shots. A lot of people that see the pictures really like that perspective and uh, not too bad on price either. This is in the 50s, this is under $60, so not too bad. Uh, I've seen other ones go for over 100 and just you really wanna go simple on this thing. One other thing I forgot to mention, 
is you could actually unscrew this bottom piece here and it should be watertight and you could just put some stuff in there as far as storage and all that stuff. Forgot to mention that little feature. But anyway, that's about it. Uh, very, very simple, uh, understandable, intuitive product to use. Just needs a little bit of practice to get those shots in. But anyway, I hope you found this helpful because I haven't seen a video review on this before I bought it. So anyway, I hope that helps. Like I said, link in the description and in the comment section to uh, where you guys can buy this and the Hero 5 uh, for yourselves. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.